Welcome back. All right, ladies, we're gonna start in a seated position. All right, roll the shoulder blades on your back, core strong, chest is nice and lifted, and you don't have to sit in the position I'm sitting in. Sit in a way that's comfortable for you. Starting with these neck muscles, you're gonna turn your face side to side, just looking towards that shoulder. You're gonna roll those shoulder blades down your back. Make sure that posture stays nice and tall. And that chest is lifted, keeping that spine nice and long. Now you're gonna alternate those shoulder rolls. Round out and open up. As you round, you're gonna press that spine behind you. Okay, and pull that rib cage down towards your pelvis. And as you come forward, lift that chest up towards the ceiling so you can get a stretch both in your back and in your chest area, as well as your abdomen. Make sure you keep those shoulders down away from those ears. Now here we're rounding out or circling, okay? So you're moving above your hips as you do this movement. Each time you go around, lift that chest up and you press that spine back. Now I'm gonna reverse that movement and go the opposite way. Lift them nice and tall, reach over to the side, bring it back to starting. Reach over, get a nice stretch to that side, and reach. Good, and bring it back. Lift and stretch and keep that shoulder away from your ear. We're doing the exact same thing on the other side. So you see it nice and tall, same thing, keep that chest lifted. You're going to reach across the side, get into that side that you're reaching with. Lift up and then over. And keep that shoulder down away from the ear so that shoulder blade is still rolled down that back. Now we're going to straighten our legs. So extend those legs out in front of you. You're going to lift up out of those hip flexors. Now I want you to keep that spine nice and long and reach let your hands slide down towards your feet on your legs. And just go as far as what's comfortable. And now we're rounding out that spine each time we reach forward. Reach forward, round back up nice and tall. Roll those blades down your back, reach. And we're going to hold this one. So hinge forward from those hips, shoulders down away from the ears. Roll those blades on your back. Keep your spine as long as you can get it. You're hinging forward from your hips and you're actually pressing those heels away and get a nice stretch in your hamstrings, the back of your thighs. And just holding there and kind of melting into the stretch instead of um, cranking into it. So allow your body to adjust and you're not forcing, but I'm just actually melting into it. And we're coming up nice and tall, rolling those blades down the back and you go ahead and push or press those feet forward as you alternate. So stretching through the front of the legs and those calves. You're pointing and flexing. We're gonna go right into the windshield washers, so, or wipers. <laughs> You're gonna um, just allow those knees to fall side to side, opening up those hip flexors. This is where we tend to be tight, from, you know, a lot of sitting. And so allow those knees to fall side to side and keep your chest lifted and your spine nice and long. All right, we're gonna hold this position and we're gonna hinge from those hips and take it forward and round out nice and tall when we come back up. Hinging from the hips, now press that spine back and roll up. Keep those shoulders down away from the ear. Good, and then press it back up. Take it forward, good, and round up. So this rounding up helps to realign your spine. Keep that core strong as well as you do this movement. Take it to the other side, 
can do the same movement. So sit up nice and tall. I'm gonna take it down, hinge from the hips and roll up. Down, shoulders away from those ears. Keep that core nice and strong. Now we're holding this one, just releasing that back in that hip. You can either sit you sit whatever way is comfortable. You can sit with your legs extended. You can do crisscross applesauce or whatever works for you. Just make sure you're lifting, lifting up out of that hip flexor. You're taking it to the side and feeling a nice stretch on your side. And keeping that shoulder down away from your ears. And relax that neck. If it helps to look down so you can release your neck a little bit more, then do that. And just hold the stretch and melt into it. We're going to round out and we're going to hold it right there, keeping those shoulders off of those ears. Press that spine back behind you. And again, you know, you're, you sit was com uh, in a position that's comfortable for you. You can do this in a chair as well or on the couch. Now I'm going to lift that chest up towards the ceiling. Get a nice stretch through your abdomen area. Through your, think about your stomach or what's below your boobs. You're gonna look over that shoulder and drop that ear, getting a nice stretch on the opposite side of the neck. Make sure to keep those shoulders down away from your ears and you're sitting up nice and long. Repeat the same thing on this side, so look over the other shoulder, drop that ear down and release those neck muscles. Inhale those arms up and rotate them back behind your head. Just open up that chest up and bring them down and right back forward. Good, this is good for your chest. Lift up in the front of those shoulders. They're called your anterior deltoids. So lift up. Good, and make sure you're still seated nice and tall, keeping those shoulders down away from the ears. And you're gonna pull your elbows back behind you so you can get a nice stretch across your pecs, which is your chest muscles, and your anterior deltoids, which is the front of your shoulders. You're gonna hold it there. Now from here, you're inhaling up. Right one arm across the front, the other across the back, and take a bow. Nice job, ladies. God bless.